welcome to another quick tip on Eric the Car Guy. I uh, received a text response from a very astute viewer, uh, Big Block Mustang, uh, about my last video that this video is going to be posted to as a response to about torquing the wheels after you get done doing a brake rotor service or replacement. And this is key actually uh, to that whole process and I'm glad I'm making this video. Uh, what this is, is a torque wrench. This is a clicker style torque wrench. There are other styles. There is a beam style. There's also a digital version of these. What you see here are increments of torque that this wrench can measure. Now you use this in order to uh, make sure that the proper torque is placed on the wheels whenever you reinstall the wheels after doing a brake job. If not, if the torque is too much or uneven, what can possibly happen is that brake rotor will find itself warping again. Let me show you something real quick. Now most shops and places reinstall the uh, wheels with an impact gun and some of these, especially with some of the pressure that's involved, is quite great. So just using this and putting the wheel back on may cause extreme torque, which could in turn cause you brake vibrations in the future. For years, I used one of these. And these come in different sizes and different ratings, but this is called a torque stick. And what this does is mounts to the end of the impact gun and makes it so that when you use this on the wheel that it will only torque it so far. And torque is a measure of twisting force and it's measured in pound-feet or newton meters uh, depending upon what part of the world you're in. I'm going to demonstrate real quick. Now the way this works is you run the fasteners on the wheel down to the point where they're snug but not completely tight. Then I've already set up my torque wrench for 80 foot-pounds and I've done that because I know in this particular vehicle that's the specified torque that it's supposed to have. After that it's actually relatively simple. You just go around the wheel in the star pattern and make sure that the wheel, in this case, clicks at 80 foot-pounds. I'd like to give a special thanks to Big Block Mustang for bringing this up. Uh, you can always leave a text or video response to these videos that I make uh, with your own questions. And you can also visit me at ericthecarguy.com. Stay dirty. Mm -hmm.